Good morning. Well, it's not really morning right now. It is. It's already the afternoon by this time. Um, but today we have a few things that we're doing. We did some hibachi chicken and rice last night for dinner, and me and my kids enjoyed it so much that we are going to do it again tonight. And so if you want that recipe, it's, I'm gonna put it down in the description box. I don't know if it's authentic, baby. I'm not sure about all that, but it's good. My kids and I enjoy it, and so that's what we're gonna make. And then I have, let's see. Make sure y'all can see me a little bit better. There we go. All right, so, and then I have, um, chores I have laundry to do today and then I stop dragging her I have laundry to do today and I have to um, sweep them off the floors and I have the bathroom to do as well um since it is Saturday we do have to do like so a little bit of prep for tomorrow for church service um not much but I do um, have a few things that I need to do. Oh, I do have to make bread as well today. That probably won't be until later on tonight because we don't need bread until tomorrow, which um, that's what's on the meal plan is eggs and toast for breakfast. So I'll do the bread tonight before I go to bed. And then that's what my day is gonna be. So come with me. Let's see. I'm covering you up, so. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to Christ First Homemaking. My name is Shanice. If you are new here, if you are not new here, hey, welcome back. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on so that you can be notified when I do upload another video. Like, comment down below. I am so excited. Um, my kids are not homeschooled. I do have a desire to homeschool them in the future. Um, but right now, they are not homeschooled. They all go to traditional school. Um, last year, I did work at my youngest daughter's school. So I was able to kind of be in the midst of everything. And they all know who I am, my oldest, um, from all the way down to my youngest this year. One of my um, prayers was that I could be more active in the things that they were doing at school. And so I was able, you know, to have the opportunity to meet their teachers and really be more involved. And so I am so thankful for that. And this year is going to be a little bit different. I will be um, working from home this year and I am so, so grateful. I'm so thankful. I prayed for like a, a year, probably even longer than that. Um, to be able to be the full-time keeper of my home 
and I am so grateful that the Lord heard my prayers and he answered them and so this year they will be going to school and I will be able to work still from home um, but that will allow me to just continue to grow it with my um, walk in Christ and grow in being you know more intentional with the things that I do in my home I don't have no gigantic home I live in a three-bedroom apartment um, I am a single mother I I do have a small garden um, I cook most of our meals from scratch we do still eat some prepackaged food so I don't you know oh she got some chips yeah I still eat chips my kids still eat some prepackaged foods but um, I do a lot of pantry meals and I do cook a lot of our food from scratch as well as their snacks and things like that. And I do try to be more mindful. And I didn't used to be. There was a time when we used to eat out a lot. Um, but I do try to be more mindful of what I am feeding my children, what I'm putting in my own body. Um, I know some of the things that we eat, like the prepackaged foods, those are still not healthy. But y'all, if y'all would have seen me, a year ago or even the year before that you had been like girl how in the world <laughs> the foods that we were eating I mean fast food and chips and just junking it up in this house but I thank God for the wisdom and the preaching just reminding that you know my body is the temple of God and I should be you know more a better steward of what I'm putting in it because at the end of the day you know if I take care of my body the way that I'm supposed to I wouldn't be dealing with all them aches and pains and you know as black people we got hypertension we got diabetes we got all these different diseases and stuff running through the black community and it is our job to you know cultivate and to instill proper eating habits into our children because I'm gonna be honest we didn't grow up with that type of thing I grew up with you know hot meals every single night and home cooked meals I didn't grow up like that you know our electricity was off a lot our water may have got been cut off for a period of time we grew up on government cheese commodity food you know the peanut butter that came in the can that you had to stir real fast because it had separated that's the type of stuff that we grew up on powdered milk and so I try to, you know, let my children see that there is a way to eat healthier and it can still be good. And so that's what I try to do a lot more in my household is buying more so ingredients as opposed to prepackaged foods. So we, we do still eat some, like I said, we still eat some. Um, but for the majority of the things that we eat in our home, in my home it's stuff that I have made from scratch and that's a blessing to even know how to do those things and so I'm just so glad y'all are here but I just wanted to share that testimony with y'all because I'm just so thankful the school year is getting ready to be starting soon so we're gearing up for a grocery haul and just some things to, so I can be more prepared um, with my meal planning and staying on top of lunches for them to go to school with because we do not eat pork in my household and so I try to send them with lunches sometimes and cook, get up and make breakfast for them when they're in school so that they don't have to worry about not being able to eat the school lunch because they, they're they not going to tell them if it's pork and even if they do ask sometimes they won't tell them the truth and I, I'm, I'm going to say I, I know that from experience because I, I, like I said I worked at the school um, but I do want to ensure that my kids have the food that they can take to school, have a full stom stomach at school, and be able to come home and have a home-cooked meal as well. And so I'm just so thankful, y'all. I'm so, so thankful, y'all, that the Lord answered my prayers. You know, he heard me. And that is, you know, that increases my faith that, you know, the Lord heard me. He didn't forget about me, you know, and it, it took for me to have to keep praying. Y'all, this wasn't no, oh, I prayed yesterday and it came through. No, y'all, I prayed for a year or longer. And it was something that I truly desired in my heart, regardless of what people said I could do, regardless of what people thought I was capable of, regardless of people agree with my decisions. I am thankful that the Lord is continuing to pour out in, in his household and continuing to bless my household and man y'all I just wanted to share that with y'all I um, am so glad that you spent some time with me today 
the recipes will be linked down below if you um, want the hibachi recipe and then also not the rice because the rice is just kind of it wasn't really a recipe it was just kind of some random things that I put together because we didn't have everything else to put in the fried rice um, but I will um, put the hibachi chicken recipe down below if you try it let me know how you like it um, again if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and like comment down below I'm so glad you're here this is Christ's first homemaking and I am signing off peace and God bless